Hi, I'm Luis Tovari Romo. I am an associate professor in the Department of Molecular Neuropathology of the Institute of Cell Physiology at UNAM in Mexico City. In this EV Club trailer, I will present our paper titled Improved Post-Stroke Spontaneous Recovery by Astrocytic Extracellular Vesicles that was recently published in Molecular Therapy. In this work, we studied how astrocytes challenged with hypoxia improved neurological recovery after stroke through signaling molecules contained in extracellular vesicles. Stroke is a leading cause of disability worldwide. Improving the endogenous mechanisms for neuronal recovery is an unmet medical need. It is known that following ischemic stroke, there is a period for spontaneous recovery. The mechanisms that drive the recovery involve the re-establishment of lost neuronal connections. The role of astrocytes in these processes is a matter of controversy. We ask if astrocytes subjected to a hypoxic stimulus could trigger a better recovery in a preclinical model of stroke through signaling involving intercellular communication via extracellular vesicles. So the first thing that we do was to isolate extracellular vesicles from cultured astrocytes subjected to six hours of hypoxia. As a control, we use the conditioned media of astrocytes cultured under normoxic conditions. We determined the effect of the hypoxic stimulus on the viability of astrocytes 42 hours after the challenge. We characterized the extracellular vesicles isolated from the conditioned media by transmission electronic microscopy, the expression of CD63, and nanotracking analysis. In some experiments, we label extracellular vesicles with a lipophilic dyed PKH26 and injected the labeled EVs in the lateral ventricle of adult rats. We assessed the localization of exogenous EVs by confocal microscopy in the striatum and motor cortex at 2 and 24 hours post-injection. We observed a preferred perinuclear localization of exogenous EVs in astrocytes and neurons. For the stroke experiments, Adult male whistle rats were subjected to the transient occlusion of the middle cerebral artery for 60 minutes. 30 minutes after the beginning of the reperfusion, we administered through intracerebroventricular injections a suspension of EVs collected from the conditioned media of astrocytes under basal conditions that we term NX EVs, or astrocytes previously subjected to hypoxia and recovery that we term HX EVs. We followed these animals over 21 days and assessed by MRI the evolution of stroke and their neurological performance. We observed that animals that received EVs, especially HX EVs, recovered faster than controls. We evaluated several MRI parameters of the structural integrity of the brain and found consistently that animals that received EVs recovered better over time. With this data, we reconstructed some corticostriatal tracts and the corpus callosum and found a better reconstitution of lost connections in animals treated with astrocyte-derived EVs. In some experiments, we labeled the projections from the striatum where the infrared core localizes 14 days after stroke, and at 21 days, we looked for the marks in the motor and somatosensory corpuses. We found that animals treated with EVs have a newly patterned connectivity map in the brain cortex that is consistent with the recovery after stroke. We also evaluated the functionality of the corpus callosum by assessing compound action potentials and found that animals that receive EVs have an improved functionality in this structure. With proteomic data from three independent studies on astrocyte-derived EVs, we determined that astrocytes release in EVs a series of molecular factors that are involved in axonal recovery, synapse formation, and neuronal projection extension, indicating that astrocytes use this intercellular communication system for the essential maintenance of axon and synapse integrity. 
Our study was performed partly in compliance with NICEF 2018, regarding the isolation methods employed in filtration and ultra centrifugation. We assessed AV structure and size by transmission electronic microscopy and nanotracking analysis. We also made all the determinations of our cells before collection of EVs, including characterizing the fraction of live, necrotic, and apoptotic cells by live death staining and cell cytometry. However, we determined only the presence of CD63 as a global marker of EVs. In conclusion, we showed that isolated EVs from cultured astrocytes, even if unmodified, may shorten the time required for neurological recuperation, or even more so, extend the very limited time window of spontaneous recovery and increase the proportion of functional gains after stroke. Additional studies are warranted to explore the optimal time point for astrocyte-derived EVs administrations and the optimally effective and safe way to deliver them to the damaged brain. The most depressing question that arose from this study is what are the specific molecular components responsible for these effects. Next, we will characterize EVs isolated from peripheral blood of patients that have suffered a stroke and use them to determine biomarkers for facilitated recovery.